Hello, I'm Tom Dyer with Medicare Specialties Insurance Associates in Garden City, South Carolina. Today we're going to be talking about Medicare Supplemental Health Insurance. Medicare Supplemental Health Insurance began in 1965 when Medicare was instituted. Medicare supplements in their beginning were a bit different than they are today. In 1990, Medicare supplements were regulated and standardized to make the choices easier for seniors to understand. Medicare supplement plans gained the nickname the alphabet plans due to this standardization. Each plan was given a letter to indicate what the plan covers in regards to Medicare. The most popular of these plans is the F plan. During a Medicare beneficiary's initial enrollment period, which is three months prior to their 65th birthday, the month of their birthday, and three months after their birthday, the beneficiary can enroll in a Medicare supplement without any health questions. If that period has passed, a beneficiary may enroll in a supplement, but will be subject to qualifying health questions to determine eligibility. Medicare supplement insurance companies charge the Medicare beneficiary a monthly premium. In exchange for this premium, the company covers the additional cost left to the Medicare beneficiary by original Medicare, such as deductibles, coinsurances, and other expenses. The plan benefits are not subject to change with Medicare supplements. However, the monthly premiums for these plans can change from company to company and from year to year. Some companies have different rates for smokers and non-smokers, as well as rate adjustments determined by height and weight. These rate differences are called standard and preferred. Medicare supplements do not cover prescription drugs, so an additional drug plan would need to be purchased by the Medicare beneficiary in order to receive coverage. If a prescription drug plan is not in place at the time the beneficiary first becomes eligible, then an additional penalty will be charged for every year that the beneficiary could have had coverage but didn't. Medicare supplements are a good option for many Medicare beneficiaries. However, it is important to review all of your options and make an educated decision about what type of plan works best for you. For more information on Medicare Supplemental Health Insurance, contact your agent today. And remember, I'm here to help. I'm Tom Dyer with Medicare Specialties Insurance Associates. Service, guidance, and benefits you can depend on.